Andrew, I can't believe this day is finally here. Six years ago, my life changed for the better the day I met you. So much has happened in that time, but I am blessed to say that we have done it together. I still remember praying to God for my future husband. God willing, I prayed he would be caring, a Christian, and most importantly, patient, because sometimes I can be a lot. Six years ago, God answered my prayers when I met you. Haley, I promise to love, honor, and cherish every day that I am lucky enough to call you my bride. There are so many things I love about you, including your never-ending generosity, selflessness, and willingness to put others first. It is difficult to express it all, and expressing feelings, as you know, is certainly not my best quality. So to make sure you understand just how much you mean to me, I will try to explain it the best I can, with numbers. Andrew, you are the kindest soul I have ever met. Through you, I have learned true love. Even on my most stubborn days, you have a way of balancing me. You are God's greatest gift and blessing. We met on August 4th, 2016, now six years and two days ago. It was 2,192 days ago that my world was changed for the best when God put you in my life. You blessed me with the greatest gift I could have ever asked for, which is you. With how confident I am, it only took me 612 days to finally ask you out in front of your yard to be my girlfriend. Only a short 1,108 days later, and I asked you to marry me. In this time, we went on hundreds of dates through high school and college, while you were blessed to hear thousands of my jokes that just never got old. Through these days, my love for you has grown exponentially, and I learn more every day that you complete me, and I cannot do any more of these days without you. Our engagement lasted another 485, bringing the total to my most favorite 2,192 days so far. Our relationship can be summed up in a total of days, but as I have come to find, there is no number to describe how much I love you. Andrew, I promise to you and to God that in this covenant of marriage, I will honor you, cherish you, appreciate you, and show you unconditional love. I promise to give you the best version of myself that I can do for that day. I promise to listen to you and to pray with you. I promise to support your dreams and goals in life. I promise to make you chocolate chip cookies, even if that means the store-bought one on busy days. I choose to put you first above all earthly things. You are the light of my life and the reason that I get up in the morning. I simply could not imagine a future without you by my side to keep me smiling and adding so much joy to my life. Andrew, I promise to laugh with you, to cry with you, and to grow with you. I promise to support your growth into the person God has called you to be. I promise to keep you first, to trust you, be vulnerable with you, and to submit to you. As Ruth said, where you go, I will go. Where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God, my God. So, Kaylee, I vow to love you no matter what, through thick and thin, for better or for worse, in sickness and in health, and especially when I'm getting on your nerves. I will even love you then. And I will love you with all that I have and all that I am, as long as we both shall live. Andrew, I love you so much, and I'm so excited to begin this adventure as one. Your bride.